At the beginning of the movie, we see a little girl who calls Megan and climbs into the house through a window. Dean is sleeping serenely on a chair. The daughter, Frankie, wakes the hero and asks to go outside with her. Dean realizes that the gate for the dog is open and asks the girl to check in the kennel just in case. The hero promises that Megan will definitely come back when she wants to drink and eat. Dean returns to the house and, at Frankie's request, decides to wake his wife. Cindy doesn't come to like it and goes off to make breakfast. Frankie refuses to eat porridge and the hero realizes that it is just flooded with water. Dean offers his daughter to eat at least raisins and together with her does it without hands. Cindy scolds her daughter, helps her get dressed and gets ready for work. Dean asks his wife to buckle up as he says goodbye and afterward prints out the missing dog notices. Cindy works at the hospital and does ultrasounds on pregnant women. Dr. Feinberg asks the woman to talk to her husband about his proposal. Meanwhile, Dean paints the walls of the house and afterward takes a car ride into town. Cindy, having a snack while driving, notices Megan on the side of the road. The hero attends his daughter's rehearsal and watches her proudly. Cindy is late for the performance and tearfully tells her husband that she found Megan. Instead of support, Dean rebukes the woman for not locking the wicket. This causes Cindy to burst into sobs. Afterward, Dean offers to send his daughter to visit her grandfather for the day. Cindy asks him to come inside, but the hero refuses and says goodbye to Frankie near the car. Jerry guesses that the spouses are fighting again. In the past, Dean gets a job as a longshoreman and during a break he reasons that women don't marry for love, but just to get a better life. The hero receives his payment and goes home, where he has played music in silence. The next day Dean receives an order with a delivery to an elderly sick man. Partner Jones reasons that in his old age the hero will look exactly the same, but it will happen in about 50 years. Everything in the house looks pretty untidy, but Jones informs us that all these things, even the odd ones, need to be loaded and shipped to the right address by tonight. The new place turns out to be much smaller. Dean starts unpacking the furniture, and instead of just putting everything where it belongs, he decorates the man's new place, making it cozy with lots of little things. The hero also communicates with Walter, showing him where he has put different items. The man heartily thanks Dean, while his partners ask him to hurry up and not do any nonsense. In the present tense, with tears in her eyes, Cindy watches as the hero lays Megan down in the dug hole. Back home, Dean is crying and the woman tries to comfort him. Later, the hero revisits archived videos of his daughter and Megan. Dean decides to suggest that his wife go to a motel. However, Cindy refuses as she will have a work shift. The hero is persistent, he tries to talk his wife into spending time together and relaxing. Cindy is angry that he rents a room anyway, despite her pleas not to. Before the trip, the woman goes to the store and meets her acquaintance Bobby there. Dean waits for Cindy on the street, but she gets too involved in a dialogue with the guy. Later during the trip, the hero learns about the meeting with Bobby and is very angry that his wife talked to him. Dean finds it suspicious that his wife is so nervous about this conversation. Cindy apologizes for her inappropriate comments and takes the hero's hand, but he pulls away. The woman stops the car and goes into the woods under the pretext that she needs to go to the bathroom. In the past, Cindy uses a wheelchair for the sake of experimentation and kisses Bobby after his workout. The guy persistently hints at night games, but the girl leaves him. Cindy brings her grandmother home, has tea with her, and asks her how a person feels when they fall in love. The woman replies that she's not sure she's ever had true love in her long life. The grandmother warns that the man she loves should treat his wife as such and behave honorably with her. Cindy realizes that she doesn't want to be like her parents who live together out of habit. Soon the girl is playing night games with Bobby and then realizes that he didn't use protection. With the help of improvised means, Cindy tries to avoid possible consequences. The girl continues to take care of her grandmother, taking her to different places, combing her hair and reading books near her bed. On one of these days, Cindy notices Dean. The hero is fascinated by the girl and asks her to call the company where he works. The action returns to the present. Cindy is not thrilled with the chosen number and the hero's childish behavior. A woman is taking a shower and Dean decides to join her. Cindy isn't thrilled about it and wants to wash in peace. 
Dean leaves to get some food and then returns to the room. The hero puts on a CD with pleasant music and then dances with Cindy. The action is once again transported back in time. After that incident, Cindy refuses to talk to Bobby, despite his attempts to establish a relationship with her. The guy even gives her flowers, wanting to reconcile. Meanwhile, Dean is waiting for a call from the girl and can't get her out of his mind. The hero discusses the situation with his partners and realizes that most likely he just fell in love with her. His friends advise him to play night games with another girl to get the thoughts of Sydney out of his head. However, Dean feels he shouldn't do that. Then Jones suggests finding her grandmother and finding out about Cindy through her. The hero gathers his strength and goes on a search. Dean is upset not to see Walter in the room across the hall and talks to Cindy's grandmother. The woman promises to tell her granddaughter hello from the hero. Walking away from her, Dean gets on the bus and sees Cindy. The hero tells her that he came to visit Walter and wanted to take him a gold locket which contained two photos. Cindy smiles at Dean's jokes and cute compliments, she likes his directness. Afterward, the characters take a walk and tell each other about their lives. Cindy tells a boy that she wants to go to medical college. Dean plays a musical instrument and asks the girl to dance for him. In parallel, the character sings about how a man does not appreciate what he has and strives for what destroys him. In the present tense, Cindy tries to strike up a conversation about how her husband should have something to do. Dean, she believes, has many abilities for different things that he ignores. The hero explains that all he wants to do right now is to be someone's father and husband and nothing else. Cindy gets drunk and becomes more cheerful. Dean is about to go to the bathroom and asks the woman to stay awake until he gets back. The hero says he fell and when Cindy tries to help him, he lays her down next to him. Dean admits that he wants another baby with her and starts to hit on her. Cindy doesn't like his actions and tries as much as she can to distance herself from him. Dean is angry that the woman is pulling away from him and hurting him. Then Cindy lies down and doesn't resist. The hero says it's awful and that he wants Cindy to desire him herself. The woman leaves, closing the door behind her and crying when Dean asks her to open it for him. The hero remembers having fun with Cindy in the past, fooling around, kissing, feeling that their feelings for each other are mutual. The girl realizes that night games with Dean turn out to be much more enjoyable. Soon Cindy takes a pregnancy test and finds out she is expecting a baby. The girl wants to call the hero, but Bobby takes away her card. Then Cindy comes to his office, meets Dean with a kiss, and goes for a walk with him. The hero feels that something is wrong and asks the girl not to keep silent and finally tell him the truth. Dean commits a dangerous act and learns that Cindy is pregnant. The girl admits that it's unlikely that the baby is his. Cindy goes to the hospital and is going to get rid of her problem. During the procedure, the girl realizes that she can't do that and aborts it. Dean comforts a crying Cindy and hugs her. On the bus, the hero proposes marriage and becoming a family to raise a child. Cindy gratefully and agreeingly hugs him. Dean realizes he doesn't have to do this, but is willing to do it for his love for the girl. In the present tense, Cindy wakes up early in the morning and leaves. Soon awakens in Dean, who spent the whole night on the floor. The hero finds a note from his wife and clarifies on the phone where the nearest bus stop is. In the past, after a walk with the hero, Cindy returns home. On the answering machine, the girl hears a message from Bobby with threats to deal with Dean. Cindy tries to call the hero, but it is at this moment that he is attacked. In the present tense, the woman again receives an offer from the doctor to leave for a new job. Cindy will be able to live in another city for five days and return to her family on the weekends. The woman realizes that Feinberg has a thing for her. Dean comes to the hospital and wants to talk to his spouse. The hero charges Cindy that she left without saying anything and acted very rudely. The woman tries to send a drunk Dean home. Hero is angry that she won't listen to him and he goes back to the hospital for Cindy. The woman says she doesn't love Dean anymore and asks him to leave. Hero takes to making a mess, attacks Dr. Feinberg and is angry at everything around him. The doctor ends up firing Cindy. The woman is angry and attacks Dean, saying she hates him. A crying Cindy goes to the car and says they need to get a divorce. 
The hero throws away the wedding ring and then gets out of the traveling car and starts looking for it. In the past tense, a crippled Dean comes to dinner with the family of the girl he loves. In the evening, the hero gives her the very CD on which their song is recorded. In the present tense, Cindy leaves for her parents' house and Dean follows her. The hero cries and asks to think about Frankie. Dean apologizes and says he'll do whatever Cindy wants to keep the family together. The woman apologizes, however, and informs him that she doesn't know how to make things right. Dean recalls their wedding and vows to be together forever. The hero embraces Cindy, tries to change her mind, but the woman remains adamant. In the end, Dean leaves the house and asks Frankie to go back to her mom. This is the end of the movie. Thank you all for watching this video to the end. Give this video a like. Write in the comments what you think about this movie and see you in new videos.